What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a $500 gaming PC which you can use for gaming or video editing. Now in this video I am joined by Jason, also known as 3P, so say hello. What's up? And we're going to be going through all the parts you need to build this PC. Now for this build we're using uh, parts on Amazon, so the prices may fluctuate a bit, but for the most part it'll come in around $500, and it should get the job done when it comes to basic gaming, so it'll be able to run games at... 1080p, 30 FPS, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be able to, we should be able to run at 1080p, probably 30 FPS, and 720p will definitely be able to get much higher. But it'll fluctuate. Like more than likely, you'll you'll be able to run most games solidly without any issues on medium settings. You can try and experiment on some easy games in high settings, like maybe like uh, ones that aren't as really CPU intensive. Like maybe you can try and turn it up on Minecraft. Just turn down your chunks. And I think you should be good to run pretty much most games. Like everybody's a, the craze with like H1Z1 and other games like that lately, and you'll be able to run that on this computer. So not a problem there. All right. So with that being said, let's name the parts. So first off, we have the case, and the case is the Vivo ATX mid tower case. Right now, it's forty dollars on Amazon, and it's a really nice case because it is a mid tower one. So even if you want to expand, it'll fit everything easily, and it also comes in at a really cheap price, so you can have higher specs. For the other parts as well it has usb 3.0 as well as 2.0 and it'll hold everything yeah it's a case <laughs> uh just another thing to say as well is that this case is built around airflow so the whole idea of this case is to keep your computer cool the, the, which is why we've gone with because you don't exactly want your whole room to be 100 degrees when you're gaming do you because that's not fun and it's got four fan mounts which is another thing that it's regarded to where it's airflow so you shouldn't have a problem with it getting too hot or having problems with temperature with your computer you should be able to run it pretty much just fine even while using the stock cooler for uh, the cpu that is coming up very soon okay so next up is the motherboard right here we've got the gigabyte am3 plus amd ddr3 and it is a nice little bit of kit it's not too cheap it's not too dear i should say but it's uh it's very nice and currently it's on offer and it's 56 dollars over on amazon it might fluctuate again like we say because it's you know offers come and go but it's, it's a really good, nice motherboard. It's not an insane, but it gets the job done. And it's got all the right sockets you need. It'll fit everything nicely. And it'll fit the RAM that we plan to use without a problem because it's got two slots and it's got other slots. It, this is literally just, there's not too a whole lot to say. It's just a really good motherboard and it's by Gigabytes or their trusty brand. Next up, we have the graphics card. Now, when it comes to building a gaming PC, the graphics card is one of the most important components to run the games, so we went with a pricier option, which is the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. It has 2GB of dedicated RAM, and it is also G-Sync ready, so it's good if you have G-Sync, and it should be good for running most games, like Jason said before. Yeah, this thing will run most games, no problem. It's like a medium-end card, so you shouldn't have any problem, and it's 2GB as well, so like that's not... Uh, too bad regarding uh, video card RAM like most cards like between the mid and beginning to high are 2 gig until you get up to like maybe a 780 and that's like top of the line near enough so this thing will definitely run your games without a problem and get the job done so for the processor we went for the AD AMD FT6300 and the reason why we went for this is cause it's like AMD is always a bang for the book kind of brand you get what you pay for like with uh, Intel, they're, the only time you'll really see like extreme benefits out of an Intel is, like some people can argue with me, but it's a lot of the time is when you get like the higher end. Like I, have, I, my, I personally have an i7 and it's amazing. And even though this is, uh, this is a great, it's six cores, so you won't have a problem. And it's stock cooler is the one you'll be able to use. You don't need the cooling with this uh, build because we're going for cheap and it shouldn't run with any problem regarding heat especially because of the case we have so it's all interlocked together and this runs really well and there shouldn't be any problems whatsoever and its frequency is 3.5 gigahertz and that's uh fairly that's not bad considering so we're doing pretty well here all right so next up we have the power supply now the graphics card requires a 300 watt power supply and this one is 500 watt it's the evga 500 and it only costs 45 bucks there's not too much to say about that and then we also have a standard dvd drive which is made by asus and that goes for around 20 dollars and it's just your standard oem optical drive okay so for the ram we're going with eight gigabytes and it's in two sticks of four so we can help channel the memory as the g skill f3 
uh, 1 to 800, so it's not bad at all. G-Skill is a really reliable brand regarding RAM, and uh, it's it's just runs really smoothly. This will, you'll have no problem with like programs like Photoshop, Sony Vegas, all them kinds of things. You'll be able to open them up fine. It, it might take maybe like uh, 30 seconds to open the program, so because they are RAM heavy, but you'll be able to do the, the programs with absolutely no problem whatsoever. And then regarding the hard drives, we've chosen the WD Green 1TB hard drive. I personally have the Caviar Black, which is the WD Black, and these, this brand is amazing. I also have the WD Green, and honestly, this is a really good hard drive. It's It's got lots of space, a terabyte is sound for whatever you'll need in this computer, and it's more than enough for what you'll need regarding, because Windows 10, if you get Windows 10, it's not very big, and then that leaves a lot of space for your video files or whatever you may be using this computer for and it's a solid choice for a hard drive. All right, so that's about it. Like I said, this is a very budget build. Um, it's not too expensive, but at the same time, for the money you're paying, you're definitely getting a good value out of it. And with this PC, you're gonna be able to play a bunch of games that you've been wanting to play and it's not too expensive. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Special thank you to 3Ps for helping me make it. It would be awesome if you guys can check out his channel, maybe get him to a thousand subscribers. And also if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.